Hi, pals. Coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Crockett defends himself from a ruthless drug dealer and an internal affairs investigation in the episode Payback. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 9th to March 15th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 13th, Microsoft went public with its first IPO offering shortly after moving their headquarters to Redmond, Washington. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Microsoft was a controversial company and under constant scrutiny from the FTC, which is vastly different than the company we know today. The initial IPO opened at $21 a share and didn't suffer its first quarterly loss until 2012. As a tech geek, I'm not much of a fan of Microsoft's products, but I can't undervalue the contributions the company has made to the industry and to the world. In music, Mr. Mister gives way to a Starship song I can at least tolerate, unlike We Built This City. From the album Knee Deep in the Hoopla, the band would score a second number one with Sarah. Sarah would only reach the top spot in the U.S. because in 1986, we would buy anything. The song would hold the top spot for just one week. Unfortunately, it's not the last Starship song that will reach the number one during the late 80s. I'm obviously not a fan, but I will bow to the band's enduring legacy. In movies, for one more week, Pretty in Pink is still at the top of the box office. We could spend at least one more week here on This Week in Vice gushing about the film, too. In the last moments of the film, Andy, Molly Ringwald, kisses Blaine and Jim McCarthy in the parking lot outside the prom, leaving a happy ending, much to the chagrin of the audience. The lovable Ducky, played by John Cryer, is left to watch the woman of his dreams with another man. I don't have any commentary, I just wanted to give you a few moments of nostalgia for one of the most emblematic movies of the decade. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.